Welcome back, Trendsetter Kings and Queens. Stick around, let's chill, and spill some trending tea. Cardi B and Offset were spotted in New York on Saturday, September 17, 2022, where they hosted a New York Fashion Week celebration called Fashion Night Out. And let me just tell y'all, they were dripping, dripping in diamonds and dripping in designer clothes. Y'all need to check this out. The creative director for Playboy Centerfold brand was surrounded by so many celebrities, including her sister, Hennessy. She was enjoying herself, y'all. You need to check this clip out. <laughs> Cardi B was showing love for Ice Spice. Y'all need to check out this clip. Meek Mill was in attendance, and y'all, he was just chilling, enjoying, and supporting, and showing love. Alongside Stranger Things star Caleb McLaughlin, y'all, I'm sorry if I'm butchering his name, and Carmelo Anthony. Oh, Lord, that's a lot. But anyway, everybody was showing out. But, you know, Cardi's good friend, T. Styles, you know, she's a, a style icon. She, it was her birthday, y'all. She was enjoying the night with Cardi. Everyone was celebrating. You're going to need to check out this clip. Cardi B was clearly in good spirits after making headlines this week with her court. You know, on Thursday, she accepted the plea deal regarding that incident in New York City Club where apparently she hurled a hookah bottle and I mean a hookah and some bottles at two sisters, uh, Jade and Batty G, and then apparently ordering a man to attack one of them that was allegedly sleeping with her husband offset. You know, the original indictment included 12 charges, including two felonies. But after pleading guilty to two misdemeanor charges, the rapper eventually agreed to perform just 15 days of community service and all the other 10 remaining charges were dismissed, y'all. So I feel like, you know, she's she's doing her time, she's doing what she needs to do, and she's trying to, you know, move forward and get past this incident. Trendsetters, we're coming up on Safari and Erica Mena. We have sad news. They have finalized their divorce, meaning the former couple's marriage is officially dissolved. You know, the love and hip-hop stars were married for just under two years. According to reports from TMZ, legal documents show that the judge signed off on the divorce on September 12th, which comes after the pair came with their agreement through arbitration. And on their terms, the formal couple agreed upon is that Safari will pay $4,305 a month in child support. According to the court documents, Erica is calling her marriage irretrievably broken with no hope of reconciliation. Erica reportedly caught Safari cheating on her with multiple women and then pulled the plug on their marriage. Erica also told the court that she will not return the $500,000 that Safari reportedly paid for her rings. The couple also reportedly had more than $250,000 in cars, another $200,000 in clothes, and Safari's jewelry cost about $500,000 as well. The Love & Hip Hop stars sold their $1.2 million marital home near Atlanta in June. You guys, it sounds crazy, all their financials. I mean, I'm just thinking about, like, how does Safari buy Erica $500,000 in jewelry, and then they live in a $1.2 million house? I don't know. But now that those things are finally behind them and the it's officially over for the couple legally, fans from either party can probably agree that the dissolution of this marriage is probably for the best. I mean, it played out on Love & Hip Hop. It was toxic. But, you know, it's now time to put all this crazy drama behind them, and they just need to stick to co-parenting and doing what's best for the children and just being cordial with one another. All right, trendsetters, I enjoyed spilling the tea with you this evening. Let me know in the comments below what you think. Remember to support one another and show some love. Y'all support your girl. It's free. It's a new channel. We trying to blow up. We trying to bring you the hot trending tea. Hit that like and subscribe button and share if you'd like. Trendsetters, I love you. Bye, fam.